is I've experienced probably most levels that you could. I've been that extreme nice guy, right? Did not understand it. Got taken advantage of several times in a row as a youngin, right? But then what it did was it turned me to the complete opposite, right? To where I'm like, oh, yeah, watch this, right? And mm. I'm sure that I've heard plenty of women who I probably would not have because of the horrible experiences that I had when I was younger. And it took me a, a longer time to get back to like where I feel like I'm more comfortable and neutral to where it's like, all right, cool. This is, this is a good balance, right? But a lot of dudes get stuck in that, that machine mode where you just like, whatever, you an assassin out here. So yeah, just consider what type of a person you are creating, right? We know we are creating super villains out here when you take advantage of these nice guys. Can I go I next? Need to do. Cause that's okay. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We gotta get a lady in there. Let me, let me get uh, either <laughs> pineapple or Zai in there. Cause I'm like, what the hell? No, I think that it goes both ways. <laughs> I'm saying that to say that I have been ultimately very vulnerable, very open. I was just saying, like, I initially sometimes start to auto purchase things for men, get things for them that I think they may like. I, I'm open. Like, I'm a, I'm a hopeful romantic. I tell people this all. I'm not hopeless. I ain't got no hole in me, but I'm hopeful. So I'm always working towards trying to figure out how I am able to be able to show and provide that I'm serious about a situation because oftentimes my lifestyle doesn't always indicate that I'm, situ like, that I'm always situated to be serious about a relationship. So the only way that I feel is if it's necessary when we do so is be like, let me show you in my love language until you show me yours, the way in which I can provide for you and the way in which I can show you that I actually care. And not because it's like superficial or just money oriented, but just because this is the way that I choose to show that my love for you. It's like, I feel like I get washed out sometimes too. Like, I feel like niggas be looking at me like, oh, this bitch is a fucking simp. She gonna do anything. When that's not necessarily the the thing, it's just that if I care and if I give a fuck, I'm going to show up and I'm going to show up in the best way I know how. And just because I might be a little more financially astute to be able to do so, then it poses an issue or it's like, oh, you either take me for a gup, a bitch is going to just continue to show up for you and provide financially or you you'd be like oh okay she actually gives a fuck like it goes one a, one or two ways like it's really unfortunate because i want to be able to show up in a way that shows and provides that i'm serious about whatever it is that i'm getting into whether it be dating or just having a good time that da, da, da. like what the fuck i can't even do that though i do that oh yeah this bitch is she's a simp she about to show up. She finna give me some money. I'm finna rag this hoe out. I'm finna make sure she spent all this cash. <laughs> this bitch, not only is she down, she nasty, she having a good time, and she finna spend some dough. It's crazy. We love hoes to do shit like this. I love hoes to do shit like this. I love hoes to do the same shit I do on a day to day fucking basis. It's crazy, though, that it can't be reciprocated, appreciated, and, and leveled in the same, like, common decency without it being like, oh, she's tricking. Oh, she a cougar. This bitch got some money. She finna spend it. Like, there has to be some balance. There has to be a level of understanding where it's like, this is just the way that I show my love. I go to the one thing, and I, I'm not saying this to be on no bullshit. I swear to God. Anytime I ever go into the club, I'll be like, I hate for people to buy me drinks. I'd be like, I'm going to buy you a drink. You ain't never got to ask me for shit. If someone offers me something, it's cool. But I'm going to buy you a drink before you can buy me a drink. Because <laughs> we ain't got to talk the rest of the night. But what <laughs> I, if I, I was to say to you that there, there there's an issue in all of that? What there's an issue. issue. There's an issue with what Treb said. There's an issue <laughs> with what you said. And there's an issue with what Sweeney said. Um, to address uh, you... Women are natural receivers, right? So you got to look at that. So it's nothing wrong with anything that you said, but you have to allow a man to give to you. If you're the giver, now he's in his feminine because he's receiving, right? So reciprocating is one thing because once you don't plug into the female plug, it, the, it, the energy is going both ways, right? But you, you have to let him plug into you. 
because there's a male plug and there's a female plug. So you can't just be giving to him off the rip because now you just made him the female plug. So once y'all start reciprocating, it's cool. But no, nah, don't be buying me no drink. Well, if you buy me a drink, I'm just going to initially think you're a duck. So, you know, that's the problem. You can't do that. Um, uh, I, 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 I never, I never, I never, I want men to lead in their masculine. I never right. want to take that. Masculine men ever. want to give. Masculine ever. men want to provide. So that's the first thing. But going to just the actual topic, um, nice guys are people pleasers. All right. And Trev, you can sit here and say, well, why can't I just do this? Because you don't supposed to. All right. You're, you're people pleasing. It's a, <laughs> it's a big difference between being and doing. And a people pleaser feels the need to do all the time. There's some niggas out here who are just that nigga and he could just be. And that being makes a woman wet. It makes a woman feel like, you know what? That's who I want to be with. That's who I want to be up under. And you ain't got to do nothing. And the provision comes in, but you don't have to initially start doing all this shit because women don't really want it. Women want to feel it. That's the being versus the doing. So all these dudes run around doing all this shit. Yeah, they're what? pleasers. And women can sense it. And that's the biggest problem. Because like I said, everything is about safety. And if you got to do all this shit in order to impress her, that means you're doing this with every woman and she's not special, or either you're hiding something or you're overextending yourself in order to hide something that may be behind all of these trinkets that you're putting out. So how do you how do you be without doing? If you can give an example to the fellas. It's not even anything explainable. I can't. He was like, just talking, sweetie. He just talking <laughs> shit. Why does sweetie always lie? All he's doing is just talk. He can't even explain what he's saying. Man, I don't know what he's just saying. I wonder if I wonder if he's on payroll. Men are supposed to do. This nigga got to be on payroll. Who's saying what? Who's saying what? Everybody's talking. What? We're going to ignore Sweeney, but. What? Oh, don't, don't ignore right, me. Well, you, well, you, uh, you, would, actually, you, would, you address me. You address my point, so I'll, I'll go ahead and... Oh, hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, I think Trev, I think... You contradicted. Like, I think, I think Trev, I'll go ahead and... Oh, is that rude? Yeah, only because he... Sweeney, do you have a girlfriend? He, he my point. Sweeney, do you have a girlfriend? Yeah, I, no, I do I not. I can tell. I'm sure you can. You got a wife. <laughs> Women a wife. are supposed wife? to be... Okay, Mr. Lego. Yeah. <laughs> you got right. I said women are supposed to be and men are women are supposed to be and men are supposed to do. So what you yes. said kind of contradicted itself because one minute you said they're supposed to do, and then you said they do too much. Actually, men are supposed to do and our job as women is to let them know that you're doing a good job and to be feminine and to rest in your femininity. Is that yes. what you're trying to say? I I agree with you. 